Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Andrew, Dean of the Honors College at William Patterson University. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Honors College and what we have to offer. So what is the Honors College? Well, the Honors College is a competitive program for undergraduates. We accept students from all majors and you need to file a special application in order to get in. Once you are in the Honors College, you take some of your university core curriculum courses, which is what we call the general education courses here at William Patterson, as honors sections. Those sections are smaller. They only have 20 students per section. And those sections are made up all of your fellow honors students. So we're kind of a college within the university, and that allows you the opportunity to be at a big university with a lot of different options a lot of different majors and a lot of different research and creative performance opportunities while still having the small college experience. Um, so as a freshman and sophomore, you take honors sections of your university core curriculum courses. And then in your junior year, you join a research or creative performance track. That track is five or six courses that prepare you to do a research project of your own or a creative performance of your own. So the Honors UCC courses are courses that are applicable to all majors. They're the courses that you would normally have to take as part of your general education requirements. Most you, uh, you know, freshmen take three UCC Honors courses. And then in your sophomore year, you just take one Honors section each semester. And then again, in your junior year, you joined the research or creative performance track. The honors tracks um, are the following, biology, business, clinical psychology, cognitive science, global public health, humanities, the independent track, nursing, music, performing and literary arts, and the social sciences. So as you can see, many of our tracks are interdisciplinary, and that gives you the chance to work with other students and to talk with other students from different majors about your research. While at university, you major in something, you become an expert in something. But in the real world, most of us work in jobs that require interdisciplinary problem solving. And this is what the research tracks are really good at helping you to get. So usually the research tracks um, are about 15 credits above and beyond the major. It's kind of like adding an, a minor, but in this case, it's an honors minor. Um, it's a substantial thesis, or you might write several songs, you might write a collection of poetry, and several students have produced this year short films. If you want to know more about the kinds of projects that students are producing, please go to the honors website at wpunj.edu backslash honors. And there you will see when you scroll to the bottom, a PDF of our last honors research week. And it'll show you all the different kinds of projects that students have recently completed. Um, so the thing that's great about that is that you're joining a research or creative performance group, but you also have an individual faculty mentor and an individual project. So you get the benefit of talking to other people about your project while at the same time also working individually with a faculty member to really develop your expertise. So what students tell me um, is that they talk about their honors thesis during their graduate school interviews and during their job interviews, because this is the thing that really makes the individual student stand out. No one else is going to be an expert in that particular field of research because you've chosen your individual project. You are the only expert who is really qualified to talk about it. Um, so it gives you something unique to talk about. It really makes you stand out in job interviews and in graduate school interviews. So being part of the Honors College can really pay off in the long run. And you also get the added benefit of the extra scholarship while you're at William Patterson. We do require civic engagement. It's only seven hours per year, um, but it's also another way that we build community amongst the honors students. We work together on various projects. 
Um, you know, everyone at William Patterson engages in civic engagement. That's one of the hallmarks of our university. And we really like for the Honors College students to be leaders in our civic engagement projects. Um, so these are just some photographs of us doing different things. You can see we're packing meals. Um, we packed 10,000 meals in two and a half hours on that day. Um, in the lower picture, we um, collected supplies and winter coats for a local um, Head Start. And other things that we do to build community is that the juniors and seniors present their research. And so they present in formal and informal settings at local, regional, and national conferences. So um, in the past couple of years, we've had 30 or 40 students go to the Northeast Regional Honors Conference to present, um, the National Honors Conference to present, but also to like the Eastern American Psychological Association, um, various regional and national conferences and fields of specialty such as global health or philosophy. So students really get out and about and talk about their projects. Some of the benefits include the small interactive classes, the final thesis project that I've already discussed in some detail. You get priority registration, which means that you get to register first, which is a really big benefit. Um, you travel to present your work at conferences. And as a fre fr freshman, you can live with other honors students in a floor of High Mountain East. So you kind of have a, an honors cohort place to live. The scholarship is currently $4,000 a year for four consecutive years if you're a freshman, two consecutive years if you're a transfer student, and you have to maintain the honors GPA of 3.25 or above. There are lots of research opportunities and there are lots of opportunities to present your research. We also have some courses with embedded travel experiences. Um, we've traveled to different places within the United States. We've also participated in international travel. Of course, we don't know when that um, option will be available again, but when it is, we've gone to Berlin, Paris, um, Costa Rica, but also within um, the United States, for example, next year, we're hoping that we'll get to travel to New Orleans and do a civic engagement project there. So the Honor Scholarship is a merit scholarship um, you have to apply to the Honors College in addition to applying to William Patterson University. You can access the application to the Honors College either through the Honors College webpage or through the admissions webpage. You have to be accepted to William Patterson University before you can be accepted to the Honors College. Once you fill out that application, what you, we are asking for is to, um, in the application, for you to give us a sense of what your grades are, what kind of courses you took in high school, um, if you are a transfer student, what kinds of courses you took at your community college. We're looking for some advanced placement courses or honors courses or dual enrollment courses. We're looking for students with high GPAs. We're looking for students with demonstrated leadership ability. So when you look at the five things that we're looking for, um, which includes uh, writing a separate essay, the GPA, what kinds of classes you took, um, you will see that we're really looking for a well-rounded individual. But if you have some of those things, but not all of those things, I still encourage you to apply. Um, if you feel like maybe your SAT scores are not quite as high as the honors usually accept, but you've got great co-curricular, extracurricular activities, you should you know, use your essay as an opportunity to explain that to the admissions committee. So um, I think it's worth applying if you think that you mostly fit what we're looking for. Um, here's more information about the kinds of things that we're looking for in our candidates. Again, the GPA, the test scores, the curriculum, um, any awards or honors that you've already received, and then also your essay content. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Barbara Andrew, Dean of the Honors College. The assistant director is Jan Pinkston. Um, our email is honors at wpunj.edu. And also, please look at our website so that you can see all of the different things that we have to offer. I'm really pleased that I got a chance to talk with you today. Um, please do reach out with questions. 
You can also call us. We are answering that phone. Um, so thank you very much. And um, I hope that we get a chance to meet in person.